time called Lobster Boy, which is from my uh, recent collection of poems. And this poem includes a picture. It's not a picture of the poem. And the poem is about the picture, but it's got a picture as a part of the poem. So I'm going to hand out the pictures. There probably aren't enough to go around, so you may have to share. Um, stand here a little bit, looking all good while they go around. <laughs> right, normal. Classic Pedro. Okay, let's go. It's called Lobster Boy. The boy with a hole in his belly. He wanted nothing outside the frame because he wanted everything outside the frame. He didn't want money and love and moist oysters. He didn't want it to be an accountant, an architect, an actuary, an actor, acupuncturist, admin assistant, aerospace engineer, agricultural worker, air traffic controller, animator, arborist, airline pilot, archaeologist, audiologist, aromatherapist, auctioneer or oh, fuck no an abattoir operative fuck yes he didn't want it to play the piano or the guitar he didn't want it to be a poet <laughs> the night tonight is clear as day so lobster boy comes out to play <laughs> um, this next piece is um, an adaption of Nabokov's 1937 short story, um, A Guide to Berlin. According to Siley Gore's library, library performance script, yeah. Siley is a member of the Potential Poetry Group with me and a number of other people here. And I said I'd do this for her. And this is called The Languages. In light of the city where I live, a gigantic black silence lies along the outer time of the archive. A couple of losses away, in the same light, lies another, then a loss, and a silence. The language is iron language, still, still iron, not yet lowered into the archive, deep under the archive. For the first few languages, after they were unloaded, with a hollow clanging from cities, little times would run up on them, up and down, and crawl on archives through those round languages. But a loss later, nobody was playing anymore. Thick light was falling instead. And now, when I was just probing the treacherous language of the city with my thick rubber heel language, I go out in the flat grey silence of early art. And even the silence of fresh city stretches along the upper city of each black park. While at the archive of the archive, that is nearest to the city of the archive, the time of the still illuminated light sweeps up from the interior of archive like bright orange heat time. The time someone wrote Otto with their time and the loss of virgin time. And I thought, how beautiful that loss with its two soft losses flanking the city, the gentle losses, suited the silent language of light upon that silence, with its two silences and its tacit loss. So, I, some of you know, I used to work in the city for many, many years, um, and I gave it all up to become an experimental poet. Grimo, Grimo, there you go. And I wrote this. I wrote this soon after I left work in the city, and it's. I think it's actually a spoken word piece. Don't all boo. Boom. But it's called Soup Boy. Open brackets. Pure life. Close brackets. This bitty coin city with its mirrored towers. This pretty groin city with its besodden hours. Looking down on the invisible men dressed in all they own. Looking up at the invisible men counting all they own. Suit boys living the pure life, making long life. Suit boys drinking the long life, selling pure life. Suit boys blocking the short life, running true life. 
soup boy is crocking the low life, making high life that soup boy. Shilling for the shysters who schlock the whole shebang. I'm an artist in residence for the presidents of shite. Working for want who wank the stinking hole. I'm an artist with relevance for the malcontents of spite. Stimming for the stonks who shrewd the superflux. I'm an artist of indifference in a wilderness of smiles. Punding for the pracklers who pranked this leprous prong. I'm an artist of coincidence for the poster boys of bile. Banging for the bragsters who brunt the new belong. I'm an artist of diffidence in an old world newly won. Gagging for the gurglers who grip the greasy pole. I'm a speculating poet in a speculative world. That's soup boy. Thank you.